Okay. This is WNDC, NDC. And uh, I'm uh, gonna attempt to uh, get some things off my chest. Just because it's been a while. And uh, here I am uh, in the last month of this year. Uh, just trying to um, figure it out, you know, uh, all of it, everything, way past just the personal little things that most people have, uh, but also the uh, spiritual uh, you know, this season, this holiday season and whatnot has always been very intense um, personally and reflecting back on some of my joys and pains and whatnot that have existed uh, in the course of my damn near 60 something years I can honestly say that this era in time and season has been the uh, dominant lead in that expectation. And yet here it is, 2022. And we go on into 23. And, uh, you know, the best that I can, you know, say or put it is just the mere fact that, you know, uh, we still here, still made it. And yet, for a lot of people, like myself, this also tends to also be, be an era in time where you kind of really, you know, start to reflect back at, you know, uh, any form of uh, success and whatnot and trying to be at this point uh, in your past where you would be like, at this time... At this era, I want to be uh, in this kind of condition, or I gotta prepare myself for this. And, and yet, uh, for me personally, I'm uh, really going through, you know, what don't kill you make you stronger. Well, that's partly true. Uh, because if you're not capable of of uh, identifying the strength gained in your struggle or whatnot then you know all you got is I survived I'm not that type of person not right now not right here um I've been on my own all my life even when I was you know in the family dynamic and whatnot always and yet here I am this season and uh i've been really honestly uncomfortable with a lot of the instinct that i've been uh viewing or you know sensing or even cringing as a black elder in good standings in the union as a vet, as a valid person that matters or should matter, you know, like the t-shirt, and yet, um, at least standing on my own too, the best I can, and not necessarily being in any form of state of deserving of uh, any form of handout or this, that, yet I'm no more special than most people who are too special for their own good. Uh... But, um, you know, I'm a shining example of the faith that I've had in uh, not being really necessarily capable of identifying any form of possible resource um, as, you know, I'm facing more challenges in life. And yet, I've had more than a few 
experiences all my life where I never hit the ground. I never really slept up under a bridge. I never really gave up all hope. I never suffered uh, even in a state of ignorance. And yet, that doesn't really change the personal uh, experience. You know? Living in this life of roller coaster, trying not to freak out. Um, for just for the need of your own sanity, you know, uh, especially in a state of, of, of being aware that in some cases there's some healing property in your existence, and yet the, the uh, question of well, who hears the healer. Uh, is in the same vein of no good deed goes unpunished or suck it up buttercup and I'm trying to Lord knows I am uh, and um, I would often say that you can tell when something is uh, about to take you to another level of this that the other by the struggle you seem to go through almost as an intention of building your spiritual muscles you know earning your blessings uh by humbly bracing yourself not just bracing yourself but preparing for this miracle people like to say that you know hey i'm a prayer for you or sending this that and the other and that's number one uh, I'm here tonight and I'm thinking uh, when I moved to Atlanta in 1976 and met my other family first person I met my cousin Stanley Stanley and I while he was still a little bit older shared one very unique thing that gave us the ability of hitting it off instantly we were born on the same day same birthday and yet, uh, you know, getting the news today of his passing is somewhat bittersweet due to the mere fact that from that we've uh, basically had a history of sorts that uh, has grown to not so necessarily uh, great per se, you know, while I looked up to him, not necessarily as a big brother, but close and whatnot. Uh, at a certain point in time, uh, my family called me and they were like, your cousin needs a place to stay. At a point where I had one of my partners, you know, who was uh, in a state of homelessness and yet he had the heart of a hustle enough that um you know i didn't have to require him to pay rent but he uh he um uh demanded you know that he's be allowed to you know assist in us living and so he would hustle for me for us Diligently out there, back in that era where, come on, man, y'all can understand where I'm going with this. And yet, getting a call, I had to make a decision because, you know, they say blood is thicker than water. And I took that road. I took that road. And even though uh, I tried to explain that to my boys, you know, um, in hopes that they would understand what I didn't understand is that they knew something that I didn't know. And it changed our relationship for the rest of our lives. I kicked out my boy. I got out here on the street hustling for us and the whole nine to provide a place for my cousin born on the same day that I was born on have a place to stay for some reason 
due to my aunt, my mom personally calling me and saying, please help your family. And no good deed goes unpunished. It resulted in me not being aware that he was having some struggles uh, with his addictions and whatnot. And so uh, me thinking that, you know, um, family won't do you, I uh, sent him on a journey to, you know, pay these bills and stuff off so we could have a nice little coasting time, you know, uh, and whatnot. And I had no idea that the last time that I saw all the money that I needed to basically live for at least the next month and a half in a nice, cheap, good place that I had been in for years, uh, was it to be affected. I get back home and it's gone. I'm like, man, have you seen him? Call on the family. What's going on? Have you seen him? You know, I don't want to believe that I just got got by my own family. And I said, I mean, come on, man. What's going on? Somebody should warn me of this and other. In the process of be believing or thinking that, you know, that that privilege should have been provided for me. And at least saying, okay, you know, just like gremlins, you know, don't feed them after dark or pour water on them. No, none of that. And I wanted to believe that if no other reason, due to the mere fact that I was, I took an ass beating from him uh, one night after uh, I uh, went to check on what was out going on outside the door, ended up with a bag over my head and dragged out to the back of my apartment where I was jumped. And I kind of had an idea who it was. I could tell from each person that was involved in this beatdown. that this was like a punishment of sorts. Kind of like New Jack City. I believed in you and you believed in the crackhead. And I walked back in the door, beat up. What just happened? I'm like, I just took an ass whooping for you. It's like a Jesus thing. <sighs> Put me out to the point where by the time that I was stuck, and I'm like, well, you know, I need some help, this, that, and the other. Everybody that I came to and said, look, I rarely do this, but I really need help right now, this, that, and the other. I made a bad decision. I had family that did some things, and this, that, and the other. And everybody, including the church with the pastor who... Bought my graduation suit and gave me a car. Looked at me and was like, you know, I don't know, man. This is, doesn't seem like a good investment. I joined the Marine Corps. He was a Marine too. All this, I'm sitting back here and he was loaning people money for and giving people money to buy lawnmowers and all this other stuff like that. And yet, here I am. This personal and yet he looked at me as if, you know, you know, I ain't gonna give you no money because I don't think it's a good investment when you live. Down, you know, mm -mm. sorry. And I'm like, to the point where it resulted in me losing the home that I had been in and afforded for years. Even when my landlord was like, damn, man, that's really messed up here. Why don't you just stay there until you get yourself on? And my pride wouldn't allow me to do so. And so I went back home. Not sooner that I got back home, my mom walked in, you know, I'm getting married, moving with them, and but you're grown, so you stay here. And I had just got a job, a real job, Georgia State. It started at the beginning of the year. And yet the transition from the house that my brother, my sister, and myself all graduated high school from, and they're five and seven years younger than me. And yet uh, um, I spent the last days in there with no heat, no lights, just that the other. And I'll never forget that feeling that, that I had um, at New Year's night when the only way that I knew it was New Year's is when uh, 
the uh, guns were going off, and I promised I wasn't going to do that. I did pretty good. And yet here I am, 2022. And um, I, uh, I'm going to have to make a part two because I don't know how well this is going to upload. But bottom line here is oh, now what? You good?